came up with the idea of dog hair high after seeing vintage high school portraits of students from the 80s with big, amazing hair. And I thought, how can I do a modern interpretation of this using dogs? So the first thing I did was to shop for different looks. We went to lots of Goodwill, Salvation Armies, looking for authentic clothes that teenagers actually wore during the 80s. Forever 21, not authentically 80s, so. We wanted to find things that were real. Really good shoulder pads. What does the cheerleader look like in her high school photo? What does the troublemaker look like? What does the jock look like? So the first one I'm going to show you is the principal's outfit. So we wanted something that was a little bit dressy. It was $6.57. I always look at the tags to make sure that the tags are really authentic. I kind of paired it with this Liz Baker lovely piece here, which is kind of a real blousey thing that a principal might wear in high school in the 80s. One of the most fun characters to dress and think about how to style is our goth rebel, of course. This weighs about 20 pounds. This piece was actually like $99, but I got it, I think, a little more than half off. And then I just got a chain from my local hardware store and kind of threw a razor blade on it just to give a little bit of detail. One of our favorite characters that we're kind of envisioning is the teacher's pet. Someone that you look at right away and you realize they've got everything together and they know what's going on. I went to Palm Desert to the Angel View Thrift Store and I picked this gorgeous number, which felt very 1985. It's got great ruffle detail in it. What's nice about this piece is it also had a bow tie that comes with it that you can accessorize or you don't really have to. I think we will. This is actually a denim maxi dress with some incredible Western detailing. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's a little more. The tag on this says Maxi Lou. No idea who Maxi Lou is, but she made beautiful clothing in the 80s. And whoever wore this, it was a big dress, and they probably had some big hair to go with it. Shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. Whoever this girl is, she's a real troublemaker, I can tell you that right now. 